Jim, your sons are really good players, and um, and they are. Um, and you know, you have 19 assists. I thought we were really efficient against the zone and made some good decisions and and believed we were going to win. This group believes they're going to figure out a way to win. We couldn't get away from them, but you know, we made enough plays to win it. And we've all talked and laughed about Hub wanting to take big shots. The lowest, worst percentage shot maybe in the history of Notre Dame basketball, but it's in the air and I'm kind of like, you know, this is probably going in because this guy has such good karma around him and believes and that's who he is. So, uh, and Paul Atkinson was fabulous. I mean, he was really good and was able to get inside that zone and make some plays. Uh, again, when you have 19 assists and only seven turnovers, playing against that, because you have to play it for Blake Wesley against this zone the first time, very impressive. Just very impressive as far as shot pass fake and moving. Cormac Ryan, you know, we've got him emerging comfortably offensively. Um, and for Nate Lashevsky to give us 17 and 27 minutes when all he did with it before this game, since since the weight game was go to shoot around for five minutes today. And he wasn't even in every possession with the white shirts. So give him a lot of credit. So, uh, you know, to get to thir 13 league wins, 20 wins, neat, neat group. And I know the Blue Devils had a barn burner. We're still chasing, you know, we're still in the chase and they keep us focused on the day to day. Did, did you think you'd be able to get anything out of Nate? Uh, you know, at the shoot around, I, I, I thought, you know, he actually ate a little bit of something at pregame meal. We had the IVs in him. Nixon, our trainers and doctors, did a fabulous job. And, you know, he, he is really a tough dude. Um, and so I, I felt better. I didn't know we'd get 17 points out of him. But I knew we needed him, you know, uh, to get his feet set and make some shots over the zone, which he really gave us. Blake never played against the zone. But never played against Paul them. Atkinson has never played it. What, what does it say about him? Yeah, really, it? really both of them. I, I'm so proud of Blake. I've had a lot of young guards be completely, and you've seen it, they've been completely paralyzed by the zone, sometimes until their junior year. You know? Senior year. Yeah, their senior year. Correct, correct. And, and for him to just be calm and poised. Now, again, when you're out there with your sidekick hub, he kind of helps you, like talk about quarterbacking the top of the zone and just doing his thing. And uh, and then for Paul, I didn't know if we could feed him as much as we did in the post. Um, and that was a benefit. And we even had him up at the foul line catching it. But, you know, we told him, as we told Mooney and different guys, to really get on the offensive boards against the zone. And he was really good in that sense. With Hub. He mentioned before the game that you know sometimes it's not the first pass, it's not the first look that's there. His, his 10 assists were 25 points for you guys on his 10 assists. That was a clinic, a clinic offensively. And I, I'm not going to get a shot. I don't care. Watch me direct this. And he, and he's always been pretty good against this zone. You know, we had a couple wins in the dome because he's been good. And uh, that was an absolute clinic by a point guard just I got this, you know, move in there, you get to the foul line. He's talking at the timeouts, Blake, you know, get on the bank, drive it. You don't have to shoot it, Blake, drive the closeout. And uh, and then he's picking up Joe Girard. I thought what helped us is we picked up three-quarter court and zigzagged the ball handler a little bit. So, and, and I thought he did a great job of that. And that's exhausting. Um, he, he's, he's, he's so fun to coach, Brenda. So what a winner, what a leader.